السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈیز اور ٹاپک از اشوکاز دما اشوکاز دما ڈیئر ویبرس یو ہیو سی دیٹ اشوکا واز اے گریٹ کنگ رادر ٹو سی دا گریٹسٹ مورین کنگ اشوکا ہو ہیز رولڈ فرام 273 بی سی to 232 BC although it took him four years to settle as or to be coronated as a king after struggling hard with his 99 brothers to get them killed and leaving only one behind to take the reign after his own death Ashoka was very strict because his father had taught him ashoka's father was bindusar he was called as slayer of the foes that is killer of enemies so amitrochetus was the name given by the greek people to the personality that is bindusar thus this thing had been embedded with ashoka that is to be strict to the enemies it was in the year 260 or 261 when famous kalinga war was fought by ashoka and wherein he continues to fight with the opposed enemies thus in during this fight it is said that about 1 lakh persons were killed and more than that number are being injured ashoka was at that time a follower of shiva sect shivism shivism but later on after the advice of upagupta or called as upagupta mogali putakisa in a their name he was converted or he got converted to buddhism what he then convinced was that the policy of biryosha to be left over and now the policy of damagosha that is winning the people through winning the people of heart through or by simply love but not and not hatred in this ashoka dama we see it was a code of conduct code of conduct and a set of principles to be followed set of principles to be followed and adopted first adopted and followed adopted and followed and later on practice it by the people to build up an attitude by people to build up an attitude attitude of social responsibility that is one has to become social responsibility that is one has to become a real human being that is he has to take responsibility of his society and to preserve the social order so he has to maintain the social balance of the society where he lives 
has to think of every human being as his brother. He should not treat him as an enemy. It ordained, so it was this Ashoka's Dhamma that ordained some sort of rules like to pay respect to elders. It was um, to be implemented to pay a respect to elders. Earlier, when he was a Shiva, he had not such type of understanding or thinking that this was to be done. But after this Ashoka Dhamma, he made principles which were to be followed during in this Ashoka Dhamma, that is to pay respect to elders, mercy to slaves, mercy to slaves, that if you have any slave under your control, please be merciful to him and emphasize the truth. He said that truth is power and you should always speak and tell truth. Non-violence and tolerance. That is non-violence not to hurt anyone because he had and famous Kalinga war, this gave him the lesson that non-violence is to be done and violence gives nothing except a repentance and a tolerance towards, towards your enemy should be given. Thank you.